the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. The spiritual person is supposed to have a heart full of peace and quietness. He is not to get disturbed on the inside or the outside, but to live in peace with himself, with people, and with God. Peace is the one of the main fruits of the Holy Spirit. The Apostle says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, and peace. What makes us lose our peace? How to win? Sometimes we lose our peace and become annoyed when things happen different from what we want. We want to impose our will on people, events, and the will of God Himself. If things happen in a different way, we lose our peace. We have to know that not all what we want could be fulfilled. Maybe it is our own good that it is not. We may lose our peace because we follow the faults of people. Even if these faults were not directed to us, we want people to act according to what we want. Otherwise, we get annoyed. It is better for us and for them in order to keep our peace and theirs to avoid interfering in other people's affairs and not to make ourselves observers of their deeds. Losing our peace could also happen when we feel injustice and that we have been victimized. With some endurance, one can tolerate injustice without losing his peace. He may consider it a crown, believing that God executes justice for the oppressed. On the other hand, we should examine ourselves. Maybe we are wrong and there has been no injustice to make us lose our peace. We may lose our peace because of certain desires that have not been fulfilled or may be fulfilled but not according to our expectations. But happy is the one who is pleased with what he has and does not get disturbed thinking about what he lacks. Contentment is a way to peace. We may lose our peace because of sin or because we fear the result of sin. There is no peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. Sometimes we lose our peace because of our weak nerves, being very sensitive. We need to solve our problems with our faith, our minds and our hearts, but not with our nerves. Agitated nerves never solve problems, but complicate them and make us lose our peace. Sometimes we think of the sharpness, depth and pain of the problem. So we lose our peace, get tired while it would have been better to think of a solution. If we reach one, we will be comforted. We may lose our peace because of our wish to reach a quick solution. If it took long, we get disturbed. There are matters that need patience, long suffering, and a period of time to be solved without any worry. Sometimes fear, tired, nerves, and expecting evil exaggerate the problem, so we get disturbed. The matter could be much easier than what we fear, but fear is an outstanding factor in losing patience. A frightened person imagines troubles and dangers that do not exist. We may, we may lose our peace because of external matters. If we are easily affected, let us be strong in faith and endurance, like the rock that storms strike without harming it. We should not become agitated by any word or action. One may lose his peace because of his thoughts or his lack of intelligence. He is the type that thinks much, doubts quickly, and is short of device, unable to take the right action, lacks faith in God's help and solutions. So do your best to keep the peace that's within you at all times. Stay with us and let's look at the following story. Are you at peace? Back in the third century, Cyprian, the bishop of Carthage, wrote to his friend Donatus, It is a bad world, Donatus, an incredibly bad world, but I have discovered in the midst of it a quiet and holy people who have learned a great secret. 
they have found a joy which is a thousand times better than any of the pleasures of our sinful life. They are despised and persecuted, but they care not. They have overcome the world. These people, Donatus, are Christians, and I am one of them. This is the kind of peace that we are supposed to experience as believers. The kind of peace that people notice, especially when we display it through our troubles. The kind of peace we can attain when we're despised, when we're persecuted, when everything is chaotic around us. Yeah, it's a bad world, an incredibly bad world, but we have victory in our Lord. Let's determine to trust God for that victory in a way we haven't before. Let us pray together. My Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Regard not my sins, but the faith of your church, and deign to give her peace and unity according to your will, who live and reign, God, world without end. Amen. Thank you.